Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for April 14th, 2023. Well, this is the day that everyone's been waiting for the kickoff of second quarter earnings, and we've already got a reversal going on here in the market. Futures this morning, as I wrote the blog, were pointing lower and we've got our first report out from JP Morgan and it is surging to the upside so we've already got those bulls pushing again this morning in the pre-market here pumping up of course we've got a lot more data coming our way and um, well what does that mean for today's market well how about we settle in buckle up let's get ready for the Friday edition of the morning market prep video Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, taking a look at these charts, we've had quite a few changes here just over yesterday. Um, there was just a massive surge of buying. What was interesting is that it really didn't manifest itself in volume, but there was a just a, a steady climb yesterday, breaking through resistance levels in the chart and pushing on higher so this downtrend that i've been watching and a uh, little bit concerned about here in the market um, uh, we just blew right through that we held it as support and we just pushed right on through to the upside and now we're stretching up here into the next level of price resistance in the chart so if those bulls find inspiration today and right now they certainly seem to be looking like they're finding lots of inspiration just in we've had a um more than a hundred point reversal in fact a hundred and twenty point reversal so far just on the jp morgan um, earnings so if they can continue to find that um, inspiration here look for some resistance up in the chart right up in this area of up here and if the bears find inspiration what because remember we've got a lot more data coming our way and there's going to be a lot of emotion spilling out here on the market today if they find inspiration well i would look for a retest back down here on that support area and just keeping in mind i'm talking about some really big point moves here in the market one thing we uh, want to now be paying attention to is this upside trend this upside trend very very bullish in the market as a matter of fact Give me just a second and i'm just going to fix this up here so we can uh, keep an eye on that i'm going to make that a nice green fat line and we'll keep an eye on that that's the trend that we are following at the moment um, in the market and we're showing no signs of us pulling back at, at least at this point um, all bulls pushing into this market. No concern about the the bank failures and things like that that we continue to see reports on. Just no concern whatsoever. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, also showing that bullishness. We held these higher lows in here, continuing to push up. I moved this um, uh, trend, uh, this resistance line. If you remember, I had it right down here yesterday. Well, we blew right through li that like there was nothing in the way. So I moved it up right on up here to this bigger level of price resistance in the chart. And as you can see, we're stretching up into that area this morning. So if we continue to see that bullish inspiration today, I'm gonna look for that resistance level up here um, where we could be stopped by that price action, we'll see. And if those bears find inspiration today, well, I'm going to pull this right back down. Now, we could stop right here on this little platform top. A little bearish pullback could stop us right there. If that doesn't hold, then I would look for a retest of these lows down in here. And, of course, that upside trend line. So bulls are in control here on the SPY. The question is, can they push right on through? Um, and right now, they're showing every reason to believe that they will do that and intend to do just that. No fear in this market. If we take a look at QQQ, 
QQQ continuing to move up in this trend and a good bullish candle, a complete reversal of those bearish candles yesterday, just a complete reversal um, on those data points. And this morning we're still showing maybe just a little bit of bearishness here in the pre-market on the NASDAQ. We'll want to watch that carefully um, here on the day. Remember, uh, no big tech reports today and we have bond yields are going up this morning and so as bond yields go up that usually has a negative effect on the nasdaq it could be possible that we could continue to consolidate in here a little bit um, not being um, heavily affected by the big bank reports we'll want to watch that carefully now if those bulls find inspiration i'm going to continue to use this resistance level in the chart at the moment look for that level up there to be tested if they can pop through there well then we're going to push this up a little bit higher maybe up into this area see if they can push up through that so let's take a look um, if the uh, if the bears were to find inspiration today, I would look for a retest back down here into this support level, back down here toward that bullish trend here in the QQQ. No question about it, the bulls are still in control on the QQQ, but maybe there's a little bit of question here about that overhead resistance. And then if we take a look at our IWM, well, IWM still remains the most bearish index in the market. And as you can see, we still have have this big ugly downtrend here and although we pushed up yesterday with an inside day trying to reverse yesterday's uh, or the day before's bear uh, engulfing candle you can see we have a substantial level of price resistance above including that downtrend so we'll want to watch that carefully and still remains a bullish chart or bearish chart now we've got this short-term upside trend trying to work but that bigger downside trend, I would be focused in on that. And so watch up in this area. If the bulls continue to be inspired, look for a test of these areas up here, see if we can break through. And if those bears find inspiration, well, I would suggest that maybe a pullback down into here could be possible or even more if they really start to push um, um, on that kind of a just plain bearish chart. That's all there is to it. And then if we take a look at our uh, T21, well, first, let's take a look at our VIX. As I mentioned yesterday, um, there just is no fear here in the market in that big surge yesterday, um, really proving that substantially that, hey, we've got no fear. The VIX dropping through this support level that we've been seeing um, hold and hold and hold. Um, no fear at all. We're testing some of these support levels right down in here on that chart. And uh, well, where's the next level? Well, maybe all the way down into here, we may drop into the low 17s on the VIX if we continue to see this bullishness today. So uh, keep a close eye on that. This area right here will now serve as resistance. Um, we just have apparently no fears at all in the market. If we take a look at our VIX, we've got a little problem, or excuse me, uh, our T2122. Our T2122 showing us that little bit of a problem here, and that is that we've pressed this market back into that overextended condition or that bearish reversal zone. Now remember, we can linger up here for a period of time in bearish re reversal zones when we're just super, super bullish. And that may be the case here. One of the things that I will point out is even if we get really good bank earnings and we pop hard, we may run out of those bulls in here for the short term and we could see that whipsaw reversal. So watch carefully as we stretch this out, um, the way the market is um, setting up at this moment, and it's gonna change probably several times throughout the pre-market, we could be stretching right up here into the uh, top level of T2122. And remember, we cannot go past 100. It, this indicator will not go past 100. And as we stretch up in there, that very overbought condition can bring in some profit taking. And we end up with that whipsaw like we saw the other day um, on that big pop up. And then we just 
whipsawed back to the downside. So watch that closely. Now, again, if those bulls can continue to find that inspiration, they don't have a whole lot of room to go here in T2122. That could still be a pretty big point move. Don't get me wrong. We can move big points to the upside and just have enough other stocks moving to the downside to temper that in here and keep us in that range. But let's keep in mind that we also have that really big downside potential here if um, something in the market disappoints or if profit takers just come running in saying we've moved too far too fast we need to back off so watch that carefully and then if we take a look at our t2108 t2108 had a nice move yesterday nice improvement pushing on up 43 percent of the stocks holding above their uh 40 day moving average we still have that downtrend here in play we're testing that resistance in that downtrend at the close of yesterday and if you take a look at right across here we have a little price resistance in the chart right here that we're testing and if we can stay bullish today we may push right on through there and maybe push up in toward 50 percent or more of our stocks holding above their 40 day moving average and that would really call out a very bullish condition here in the market if we see t2107 t2107 also improved yesterday um, pushing up into that resistance area of the chart also dealing with this downtrend here trying to break through that yesterday didn't quite get her done but as you can see, if we can push on higher here, we could really easily be up here around 50% of the stocks above their 200 day if we can pop through these little resistance areas in the chart. And right now the bulls seem very willing to do that um, in the market. Now, if those bears come back in, we might see a retest of some of these support levels here in T2107. Our T2101 made a reversal yesterday and reversed back to the upside. So what that means is that momentum yesterday shifted and we got that shift to the upside on that ahead of all of these big data points here for today. So just watch that carefully. We'll see if we can follow that through today with more upside in the market. Again, I would be watching for that potential of whipsaws as we squeeze this market higher and higher and higher with all this um, anticipation. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Now our economic calendar, um, obviously we've got a busy busy day on that calendar if you take a look right in here we've got uh, tons of things to be paying attention to um, we've got retail sales that will be coming out here this morning now we know that the economy has been slowing and those retail sales have been a little bit problematic for us if you'll excuse me here just a second i've got a mess right here there we go get rid of that um um, those retail sales have been a bit problematic for us with a slowing economy, so let's watch that closely. Consensus is expecting for that to improve today. So if we get bullish numbers in these economic data points as well, that could really surge the market higher. So keep an eye on those retail sales this morning. That is going to be a big uh, number, I think. Um, overall um, probably the biggest number of the day depending on how those consumers are feeling and if it follows that trend of um, um, economy weakening that could be a problem for us import export prices you know as bad as these numbers are we don't seem to care anymore um, we just don't seem to care that we have such a massive deficit here in our import export prices so I'm not sure that's going to matter all that much we've got Waller speaking here uh, this morning so uh, keep an eye on that we've got industrial production that's another big number here today that could be um, important as we move in or past that morning open and that initial reaction in the market so watch that business inventories and consumer sentiment are unlikely to be hardly recognized here today and that's just simply because of all of the um, economic emotion um, economic data coming out in these big bank reports so um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar on our earnings calendar the the number of um, bank reports that we have in here are uh, well they're 
Not very many, but we know that they are going to be substantial. So uh, JP Morgan, big pop here this morning on its earnings report. Keep an eye on that. We've got BlackRock that we're waiting on that report. It's already trying to get some sympathy move to the upside based on the JP Morgan report. We've got Citibank reporting here today. It looks like it's already popping, but I have not seen that report yet this morning. Again, getting that sympathy move from JP Morgan. We've got WFC also reporting today. Once again, there's not been a report from WFC yet, but it's stretching up as a result of JP Morgan's report this morning. Um, for the other, for another industry, we've got United Healthcare that will be reporting today. A um, little pop and drop going on. I don't, I haven't seen that report yet this morning from United Healthcare as well. So keep in mind, still a lot of potential moves uh, that could happen before this market opens today. Let's take um, a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could please do me that favor, let's click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment that helps that channel continue to grow. And boy, I just appreciate it so much. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who has been so kind and supportive of the content of the channel. Um, you guys are truly awesome. Um, we went over 30,000 subscribers yesterday. Um, it, I mean, I put out the content, but we wouldn't be there without you, um, uh, with without the viewers out there watching. So thank you for the support. Thank you for your kindness um, on this. I do truly appreciate it. And I will continue to try to put out the best content I can without bias or hype in it. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that may be setting up. And remember, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to have to be very careful here today with uh, the potential volatility, the big uh, point moves, the possible big point whipsaws that we may see today. So just think carefully about that. Well, yesterday I saw there were a lot of stocks, a lot of stocks moving and a lot of stocks that were potentially setting up. Let's take a look at uh, FedEx here. I placed a price alert yesterday on FedEx. This nice little resting consolidation in here. Now, certainly we've got some resistance here to be thinking about in the chart, but one of the things that we're seeing is this nice break of uh, that downtrend we're holding up here in this support area um, nice little tight consolidation which gives me a low risk entry this is a pattern I call the pop out of the box if you haven't studied this pattern I've got several videos on YouTube um, about the pop out of the box and in a bullish market it is one of my favorite patterns because it gives me low risk entries and high probability trades so watch that one closely FedEx looking good and moving in this nice upside move and by the way if we are going to be bullish in this market we're certainly going to need the shippers because uh, that's where most people buy their product anymore is through the mail um, so watch that close. If we take a look at a, a, another sector of the stock uh, market is in the drug manufacturing healthcare area. Take a look at BMY. BMY, nice little consolidating pattern. Again, there's that pop out of the box showing that potential bullish, bullishness here. We're kind of consolidating this upside move in toward that uh, trend. Watch that carefully. We're holding above our 50 day moving average and that 50 day moving average, if you'll notice right in here I'm going to get rid of those uh, get rid of a bunch of those lines you'll notice that those short term moving averages are moving up providing a potential moving average squeeze here on BMY so if we continue to stay bullish in the market I would watch BMY for a potential move it may be popping that alert first thing here this morning on that same um, um, uh, venue here let's take a look at um, um, Moderna Moderna also showing that bullishness here in the chart, pushing up in that nice little trend, pushing through, holding support, breaking these downtrends, looking good. So I would keep an eye on Moderna. Take a look at 
J and J also a very good pattern in this sector pushing right through good bullish candle yesterday gap up and hold nothing uh, stopping J and J at the moment very bullish looking chart um, I saw Pfizer looking really good yesterday interesting we're getting a big old pop and drop here on Pfizer this morning there may have been some news out there on Pfizer but we've got that similar pattern here in that chart that nice little resting consolidation happening in here and it happens to be coming right along that 50-day moving average and that possible uh, moving average squeeze coming into play on uh, Pfizer so I would watch those charts boy I would be remiss if I didn't mention gold here again gold really surging um, yesterday we're getting a little teeny tiny pullback in the pre-market here this morning but gold has been remarkably strong gold gold miners take a look at um, stocks like um, uh, GDX um, the stocks included in this ETF have just been flying to the upside. Um, just really, really parabolic strong moves as gold surges to the upside, which really flies in the face of this market bullishness right now because this is showing uncertainty. Um, when we see gold moving this hard, hard and fast, it is not normal for gold to be moving up in such strong moves with the move of the market. So something seems, seems out of sync here. But that being said, they're still moving hard to the upside. Look at silver. Man, really stretching here to the upside. Very strong. I think both gold and silver need a little rest or pullback in the market. But I'll tell you, if our dollar continues to weaken at such a strong pace that we've seen here lately, that's not going to be good for us um, overall. And we're going to see potentially gold and all commodity prices moving up with the dollar falling. So today we're trying to catch a little bit of support maybe in here on that price action in the dollar. Might see a little bit of rally here but watch that closely if we continue to weaken expect those prices to go up and when i say commodities i think we got to know um, that means we've got to look at um, some of these um, oil related stocks now remember this is going to be a problem for the fed if oil continues to rally to the upside that's going to add pressure to the inflation data but right now there seems to be um, a pretty good upside opportunity in here as OPEC um, talks about um, cutting their production and we've seen reports yesterday suggesting that there's going to be oil shortfalls this summer um, as a result and that would mean higher prices in that oil sector. Now the only thing that could change that is if we have demand destruction in the market and that means the economy gets bad enough that people just stop driving and those kind of things but according to the to the index charts there's no bad market here it's all bull uh, everything should be expanding dramatically I personally don't see that on the internal data the internal data of the market does not show the strength that the market is reflecting right there right now but that being said if if um, the data is out of uh, wrong or if we're responding um, way ahead of time here in the market and anticipating things getting better then um, watch these oil prices continue to surge to the upside some good price patterns showing up in them i would watch those closely so with that guys because i'm running out of time i'm going to cut this off here i'm going to wish you all a fantastic day Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for being um, su supportive to the channel. I really appreciate it. 30,000 took a long time to get there, but we made it. Um, thank you, everyone. And let's take a um, let's just kind of take a take a breath of relaxation heading into this morning's emotion. Remember, we don't want to rush. We don't want to chase. We don't want to make that knee jerk reaction because of the potential whipsaws that could occur on the emotion today. So take that breath, be calm, stay focused here on the day. And I want to wish you all the very, very best. Have a wonderful day, a great weekend, and we'll see you back here bright and early Monday morning.